welcome to West Country Wanderings and welcome to Herefordshire. Today, a tour of a castle. I'm at Goodridge in the southern part of the county. I'm here at this English heritage site to have a look and explore around this fabulous castle here at Herefordshire to uncover the secrets of this Norman place. Now the castle started to be built by Godric of Mapperstone, the end of the Norman conquest. But most of the castle that is remaining here today was actually built in the 13th and 14th centuries. For many years the castle was home to the Talbot family, but then the English Civil War it was then firstly held by the Parliamentarians and later the Royalist forces finally besieged by one John Birch in 1646 with the help of the Roaring Meg Mortar. standing in the great hall and this is where they would have held the social life of the castle here and all of the events and of course those huge multi-coursed meals. Currently standing in part of the keep, great big thick walls here of course and other slits for the arrows for, to go through them. In fact the design of this from the late Norman period such that it was copied on lots of other castles throughout England and Wales. Petitions and local legal disputes would come here to argue their cases, as well as course of those grand balls and those long extensive meals that they had. Currently standing in the kitchen block and documented in 1297 found that one of the meals consisted of three boars, one and a half pigs, numerous sheep for the mutton and much fruit and vegetables for the local farms here in the southern part of Herefordshire as well. But this whole kitchen block here catered for all the meals that took place in the great hall that we just saw.
fabulous views from this part of the tower. Just climbed up that narrow staircase there. Beautiful views right across to the River Wye here. Really, really enjoying my tour here at Goodridge Castle. Fabulous place. Quite a rare survivor here. This is the Portcullis Chamber. It's got evidence of the original Portcullis Gate, which obviously protected the gatehouse and the entrance to the castle. And you have that slit there. You also have these two holes here for further wooden stakes to support. These two cavities here in the wall, one there, one there, held a winch with a, like a pole axle, went right across here through the, the wall, and then two people turning this winch with the rope around it, connected to another mechanism around here, just above the grill, could then raise or lower the portcullis below. So why was the castle built right here at Goodridge? Well, this forms an ancient crossing point across the River Wye. In fact, it was a Roman road between Gloucester and Carlisle, and it crossed this point here. And so because this was a high bit of land, it was a good position to protect that road crossing the river. So behind me is the Norman Keep. It isn't actually the original keep from when Godric of Mapton built the castle because that was built of just wood. And this one was replaced some hundred years later, much more secure. put in obviously 2000 and it was designed by local artist Nicola Hopwood. The reason for this radar connected window which you might think is strange in a castle such as this is because during the Second World War a Halifax plane carrying the world's first mapping radar system crashed just outside the grounds of Goodrich Castle here. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of Goodrich Castle today, fabulous Norman Castle here in the southern part of Herefordshire. If you did, please consider a subscribe, comment, a share, you know the usual stuff. Love to hear from you, particularly if you've visited other castles throughout England or indeed across the world. Love to hear from you. What's your favourite castle and what do you like about visiting castles? What's your favourite aspect of them? Love to hear about all that. 
Until next time, West Country Wanderings, take care, look after yourselves, and I hope to see you again very, very soon. All the best for now. Cheers. Goodbye. Thank you.